Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tweaks in Cydia. So these are a few tweaks that I've downloaded, I'm currently enjoying, and I wanted to share with all of you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Lock Screen Informer. Now what Lock Screen Informer does is it gives you specific information at a glance on your lock screen. So up top here, you can quickly find out what time it is. It'll even give you a greeting in reference to the time of the day. So if it's in the afternoon, it'll say good evening. And if it's in the morning, it'll say good morning. It'll also give you the date. And then beneath that, you can have your weather. And then the latest tweet by um, whoever you so choose to put here. And then if you have any missed calls or text messages. So all of this information can be viewed quickly from your lock screen without having to unlock your device. Now there are some settings for this tweak to configure. So let's go ahead and hop in here. So within here, you do have a few options that you can configure. One of those options being the weather setting. Now it does require another tweak outside of this one to be used in order to customize the weather, which would be widget weather. Um, it's going to pre-install that when you download this. Also, you can choose your language if you want to change the font color as well as the background color. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that it does not allow you to choose from a color wheel. Instead, you have to type in the code for the color. So you might have to do a Google search to get that. Um, and then beneath that, you have the option to show your wallpaper. So if you don't want to use the custom one that's pre-installed, then you can make your own. You can also turn off the option to show words versus numbers in addition to choosing what you want to be displayed in terms of your information. So say, for instance, you don't want Twitter to be associated on your lock screen and you'd rather have your latest news article from your favorite RSS feed. Then you can choose that option here as well as possibly changing it to your battery instead of Twitter. So what you would do to customize that information is you would put the RSS feed that you wanted to pull from here and then the Twitter handle that you wanted to pull from down here. But other than that, there are just a few other options pretty much to change the transparency of the lock screen. And that's really it. So next up, we have app die. And what this does is it changes the color of certain things within your applications um, or certain things within your phone. So you can choose the option for it to die your SMS, die your keyboard, as well as your status bar. You can disable it in certain applications in case you want it to happen in one versus the other. And also I skipped this option here. You can turn the tweak off or on altogether. So app dial will pretty much let you adjust the color of certain things like these toggles as well as your status bar. And then if I were to go inside of another application such as my notes here and pop open my keyboard, you'll notice that my keyboard within here, the color of that has also changed. So this was all achieved with app dial. Now you can adjust this color by simply going in here and selecting dye color and choosing what color you want it to be. However, it does prompt you to either respring your device or close all background apps for these color changes to take effect. But I'm not really concerned with them taking effect right now, but that's just for your knowledge in case you install this one. Next up, we have Apex 2. Now, this is a tweak that I really like because it pretty much gives you what I like to consider hidden folders. So you'll notice if I double tap an icon here, it then pulls up some other applications that were hidden behind that application so that I can quickly jump into one of them without them cluttering up my locks, uh, without them cl cluttering up my home screen here. Say for instance, I double tap on one where I have not set anything, then it will allow me to do so by hitting the plus symbol. And then it will show me related apps to that particular app that I may want to choose from. And then I can pick and choose which one I want. It also will show me all applications so that if I don't want a related one and I just want a specific one that may be unrelated, then I can choose it. And then after I select it, it will then appear in that particular spot. So now if I tap away from it and double tap notes, calculator has taken up that plus. Now there are some settings to configure for Apex. Um, so if we go to configuration here. I currently have it on sub app previews, meaning that behind the first icon, you can kind of see that there's some other icons behind it. So I currently have that option enabled. However, if I turn that off, then it won't have that preview behind it. You can also select to put grabbers on, which are basically put these little um, lines at the bottom and the top of the particular application that has uh, subfolders or folders behind it. You can choose no visual indicator at all. And then you can change how you pull up those additional applications. So currently I have mine set to double tap, but you can change it to swipe up or down so that if you were to swipe on one, it would then pull it up. 
And it'll also change how you access your spotlight. So I currently have mine set on to tap on my status bar. So you'll notice here on my home screen, if I swipe down, I can't access spotlight any longer. What I have to do now is tap on the status bar and then it will pull down spotlight for me. So that might be an option too that you all may wanna take advantage of from this tweak if nothing else. Next up we have Boxy and Boxy is pretty much how I got this icon configuration right here. And how Boxy works is when you swipe up from anywhere on your springboard, it will allow you to access some configurations in terms of placing your icons in places automatically without you having to go through all the hustle and hassle of doing so. So I can change it to maybe do an even spread of my icons and it will happen instantly I, I really like that little animation and then evenly spread out my icons on my home screen or I can swipe up again choose another one maybe top center let's see how that looks and then all the icons will move to the top center and I'll do one more so let's go to the bottom left and I'm gonna select done and now all of the icons move to the bottom left. So there are some settings to configure for this tweak. One, to turn it on or off or enable quick settings. You can also get real specific in terms of where you want your icons to go by adjusting these numbers here. And then you can change your general configurations such as the presets, if you want the page control visible or icon labels visible, as well as some icon state settings. So you have a couple of options you can choose from within here to play around with to get your icons in more of a layout that you may like better. Better. Now the next tweak I have for you is known as status peak and this is very useful if you are using an application in full screen and you want just a quick look at your status bar. So what you can do is come up here in your status bar area and swipe down and it then gives you a quick preview of your status. So it doesn't stay up there long as you can see. Let's get a closer look. So when you're in a full screen app, just come up here to your status bar, slide down, and it then gives you a peek of your status bar so you can quickly look at the time or anything else, your battery life, whatever you want to look at that's up there. It can easily be done by just sliding down. So up next, we have Alt Keyboard. Now what Alt Keyboard does is it gives you some additional options for your keyboard with gestures. So as you can see, hopefully from within here, I now have my numbers above my letters. So if I were to swipe up, You'll notice that I get the number and if I were to swipe down, I get the capital letter. So those options are built in with the gesture. Swipe up for the number and then swipe down for the letter to be capital. And then down here for these letters, they're not numbers above them, they're more so characters. So then I can swipe up and get that character or swipe down and get that capital letter. You can also drag your finger over from the side of the keyboard which will then give you a magnifier down here to better see the things that you've entered to quickly jump from letter to letter. You also have some options on the spacebar key here. So if you hold your finger over it and then you glide to the left or right, you then see that you can paste, select, or select all. So there's some other gestures built into here, but those are just a few that I just kind of wanted to showcase. So hopping into the settings, this is where you can see additional information such as the keyboard and a few options you have for flicking up on keys or flicking down on keys and what happens, as well as other additional things you can customize. So Alt Keyboard pretty much gives you a lot of options in terms of your keyboard and is one that I personally do suggest because it really takes your typing to that next level. So while I'm in here, this does bring me to my next tweak, which is called Curtains for You. So you'll notice when I slide back, it now has this animation that looks like a curtain. So instead of being the rigid back and forth type of motion, you now have this very cool curtain animation where it looks like the page is pinching to the right. So that's really all it does. There are no options to configure for it. Just more so an app to download, install, and enjoy. Coming in next, I have sectional. And what this particular tweak does is it gives you the option to drag up your control center section by section. So as you can see here, I'm dragging up part of my control center. However, if I want to drag up the rest of it, I can sw uh, swipe my finger up and it'll pull up more of it. Now it can go to an even smaller section. It doesn't even have to pull up all of that from my experience with it, but it's a little bit hard to activate. Now, I do notice that sometimes it responds the way I want it to and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if that's more so user error or, you know, tweak error. I'm not quite sure, but if it happens for you too, I don't think it's just me. But nonetheless, I do like the tweak um, because it gives you a condensed view of your control center. 
instead of everything all at once. Up next, we have Look Locked. Now, what Look Locked does is it gives you web pages from your lock screen that you can view. So you can put your favorite site up here so you can look at it from your lock screen without ever unlocking your device. And to get to those web pages, you're just going to swipe to the right. So I got my YouTube website here. I got Google here and I can, you know, interact with these websites without ever leaving my lock screen. So then when I want to go into my device, I just slide to unlock as I normally would. And that's look lock. Now there are some settings to configure. You can basically change the number of pages that are shown. So I currently have two, but you can have on up to 10. And then you would put the URL that you want for those pages here and then adjust any additional settings beneath here, such as the page priorities, the timeouts of the page, the page navigation bars. And also if you want to clear pages on dismiss. You also have some more detailed information below each setting so that you can find out more before you adjust the settings for that. Now, the last tweak I want to show all of you is called barrel roll. And if I shake my device, you'll see what happens. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. So it basically makes your home screen do a barrel roll. Let's try that one more time. Do a barrel roll. And there we have it. Let's see if it'll do a lock screen. It'll even do the lock screen. So that's really about it. I hope you all enjoyed the tweaks that I showed you all and downloaded a couple. And if you did, drop down below which one was your favorite. And if you don't have a favorite, drop down below that you didn't. <laughs> Either way, leave a comment, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to stay updated. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.